The vasodilatory effect of low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy, along with its analgesic effect, are the most important mechanisms that magnetic therapy applies to tissue. When applied to tissue, low-frequency pulse magnetic therapy results in dilatation of the precapillary and capillary beds and a significantly improved flow of oxygenated blood and microcirculation the basic conditions for healing and regeneration of damaged tissue. The vasodilatory mechanism of low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy is based upon activation of the parasympathetic nervous system and promotion of the efflux of Ca2 plus ions, which leads to relaxation of the blood vessel muscles, especially the precapillary sphincters and subsequent vasodilatation. All this contributes to harmonization of the heartbeat, circulation, and blood pressure. In addition, the pulsed magnetic field acts against the stacking or coin roll formation of red blood cells. Red blood cells tend to form cylindrical clusters, cylinders called coin rolls. These formations sediment faster, they pass through the vascular lumen more poorly, and they have a smaller area for oxygen binding and its transfer to tissue. The pulsed magnetic field acts to prevent the coin roll formation of red blood cells by influencing the polarity of the cell membranes of the red blood cells using a positive charge. Red blood cells behave like small magnets, repelling each other by their equal surface charge. They disperse, thus increasing the area able to bind and transfer oxygen. As a result, all tissue is oxygenated and nourished significantly better. Polarization of the red blood cells also improves the muscle tonus, vascular, arterial, and capillary tonus. It results in vasodilatation and improved blood circulation, and the partial oxygen pressure in tissues is significantly increased. At the same time, low-frequency magnetic therapy has a positive effect on blood cell plasticity, which improves the permeability of individual blood cells through the whole vascular bed. At the same time, the magnetic field reduces the risk of blood clots. The Biomag Low Frequency Magnetic Field has proven successful mainly in mild forms of ischemic heart disease, but also in lower and upper limb ischemia, non-healing lower leg ulcers, and in all perfusion disorders in peripheral tissue. Damage to the blood vessels in the lower extremities, mostly due to arteriosclerotic changes, results in an insufficient supply of oxygen and nutrients to the working muscles and tissue. This leads to many trophic changes that may result in limb amputation. Low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy dilates minor capillaries and precapillaries and significantly improves the oxygenated blood flow in the whole vascular bed and tissue, which forms optimal conditions for normal functioning, healing, and regeneration of such tissue. In ischemic diseases of the lower limbs, arteriosclerosis, thrombus, is the most frequent cause of occlusion or narrowing of the arteries. In the case of Berger's disease, vasoconstriction due to damage to the autonomic nerves that regulate the vascular lumen, is the cause. The condition always requires a professional vascular examination and targeted treatment, or diet modification and a wide range of lifestyle changes. Upper extremity ischemia is less frequent. However, it is usually also caused by arteriosclerotic changes. The distal type, Raynaud's phenomenon, is more common. It is a local vasoneurosis in which so-called white dead fingers develop. We can find it especially in women. Low frequency pulsed magnetic therapy complements comprehensive treatment with its vasodilatory effect and stimulates microcirculation. 
It is not supposed to be the sole treatment, but rather part of the comprehensive treatment of patients with this vascular disorder. For all types of ischemia, apply programs with vasodilatory, healing and stimulating effects. Not only in acute stages of ischemia, but also as prevention or with the aim to extend a person's relatively stable health condition. Application of Biomag low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy can also be used in the treatment of problems that occur based on vascular ischemic changes in the inner ear, noises or buzzing in the ears. Magnetic therapy can positively affect even vertigo in Meniere's disease and cervico-vestibular syndrome, etc. Tinnitus, noises or buzzing in the ears, and impaired hearing. All these are the main symptoms of Meniere's disease. The main symptom is rotational vertigo attack, while the two other symptoms, tinnitus and impaired hearing, add to the main one. Causal therapy is not known. During attacks, vertigo-reducing drugs are administered that enable modification of the endolymph or influence its composition. If traditional conservative treatment fails, surgical intervention is possible too. In these diseases, low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy can be a significant support and help for every patient as it can significantly improve the majority of the specified symptoms or even completely eliminate them. Lower extremity varicoses or varicose veins belong to another common group of diseases which can be positively treated by low frequency magnetic therapy. Varicose veins cause a wide range of complications as their trophic effects on tissue may lead to the development of venous leg ulcer, i.e. the disintegration of tissue, ischemia, necrosis and open injuries which then require special and intensive long-term treatment. Treatment is medicamentous, i.e. focused on affecting the vascular wall or surgical, from traditional surgery to various mini-invasive methods, etc. Unfortunately, even successfully operated varicose veins, if they are overloaded during the follow-up period, can recur. Low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy is widely used in this field, either as prevention or to finish healing, but also to support the treatment of open venous leg ulcers. Biomag also offers, apart from traditional models, an applicator combining low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy with monochromatic light. This application is great for healing skin defects that are formed due to varicose veins and blood circulation disorders. Venous varicose veins in the rectum area, hemorrhoids, are another type of venous system disorder. Hemorrhoids can bother people in a very aggressive and troublesome manner. Therefore, it is necessary to start treatment as soon as possible and intensively, from lifestyle modifications, through changing one's physical activity, to medicamentous treatment. However, patients still often end up undergoing surgery. Both conservative and surgical treatment of these patients should be complemented by their own application of low-frequency pulsed magnetic therapy using its analgesic and vasodilatory effects and its reduction of acute pain. Due to better blood circulation and oxygenation, Varices are reduced and a strong anti-inflammatory effect is developed, which leads to a reduction in a wide range 
of negative manifestations of the disease. Magnetic therapy should not be applied in acute heavier bleeding of variculars since it is clear that during this period vasodilatation is not desirable. Otherwise magnetic therapy can be used at any time and on a long-term basis. In men application in this area also affects prostatitis and a wide range of other problems from so-called dysfunction in men or erectile dysfunction which may be closely related to insufficient blood flow in the area of the sex organs.